Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Canon printer driver software on your Windows computer without the need for a CD or DVD. So let's say you have your Canon printer all hooked up, you have your ink cartridges all lined up, and for some reason it's not connecting properly. I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the latest Canon drivers and software for your printer. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you're going to start off by opening up the Chrome web browser if it's not already open. And you want to search for Canon printer drivers and go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should say Canon Inc. drivers and downloads. Go ahead and open that up. Now you can either search for your product name just by typing it in here. Or you can go ahead and scroll down and then go item by item. So if you select printers for example, select your type of printer and then your device. And then once that is done loading here, you just would select the full driver and software package. Optionally, you could just download drivers, but I normally recommend doing the full driver and software package. Select the select button and then select download. It's going to take too long to download. It's about 50 megabytes in size. Go ahead and open that up to run it. And if you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And give it a moment here. You can close out of the web browser too at this time. It appears I accidentally closed out of the installer as well, so I'm going to open that up again and select yes. And now I'm going to close out of the web browser, like I said, and I'm going to select start setup. And you're going to select your correct country of origin and then select next. You want to agree to the end user license term and select yes. Select if you want to agree to participate in the survey, you can agree, otherwise do not agree. And then you want to select next and then give it some time to install here. Okay, so once that's done, you go ahead and set up your printer accordingly, depending on your specifications. But pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.